child? I don't know what happened to her. It was like some kind of blip. Anyway, it's a minute to seven on a Sunday. And um, my squirt keeps lifting up. Goodness gracious. Have some... You need to have some privacy here. <laughs> you have no idea. Maybe you do. <laughs> Things are so trippy. You don't you don't understand. You don't understand everything's being monitored. Everything, everything. It's crazy. Like I, I thought like, you know, everything, everything kind of like within my premises, within like my somewhat circle or I don't know, like, but no, it extends further than that. <laughs> you know what that tells me? It tells me that I'm super powerful, <laughs> but it also tells me that the people that I'm getting involved with are also powerful. I don't know what to think. And to be honest, it's like kind of scary. But like, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to like figure it out, feel it out. And so I have to be like cautious. Like, I don't, I don't really know. Like, am I, am I really going to ever have privacy? I, I, everything is, you, the, the, the people you would not think that are connected, they're connected. There's something going on here. So I, I have to discern step by step. We're going to use the Ostara deck. I don't know. I was going to use something else. I was going to use the Fountain Tarot. But I feel like at this time, like I was just running errands and, you know, and I was just like, this is the strangest thing ever. Strange. And people were getting like so close to me. It's just strange, you know? I don't know what to think. I was asking Spirit for some help. And I I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know what to think. Um Um so I'm just trying to chill out, you know. I figure you know, c celebrities are kind of like this. Like, you just... I'm I'm not, like... I'm just saying, you know, that... It, it's kind of weird. It's kind of strange. Like, why? So... Yeah, that's my experience today. And, like, I heard, oh, gosh, I don't even want to say anything. But people, like, if it's done, it's, like, it's done. People know how to do it, and it's done. But I don't want to, like, get more people in my business, you know? But the people that, like, know, like, high security stuff, um, they know how to tap in and also, like, keep people, keep others, you know, from tapping in. You know what I mean? So... I don't know if I should say anything, but the people that know, know, and the people that don't know, shouldn't know, I suppose. So I'll just kind of leave it like that. Mm -hmm. We got to um, light a candle for sure. I should save an emergency candle for later. Actually, I have a lot of emergency candles, but... um. So, like, life is so weird right now. I don't even know what to tell you. It's just extra, extra weird. And, um... But I gotta do some stuff right now, so... I wanna light this candle, but it's not cooperating, kind of. So you're just gonna spend some time with me. For a bit while I figure this out, okay? It is Sunday evening, which means... Oh, shit. What's going on there? What did I just do? 
um, yeah, so it's, um, Sunday, gotta get ready for a Monday, which means I need to shoot some emails out, just cause that's what I would do anyway, but the fact is that I have, you know, other colleagues working against me for the sheer fact of working against me, I just need to, you know, um, just move things along and that way when drama comes up you know that um I'm prepared to just look past it and be like eh, well all right what's done is done I already made some moves um but you know because the job needs to be done regardless of whose hand does it and if we're going to like um we're going to if somebody wants to get petty you know sometimes you gotta like do some damage control because ultimately they're being super selfish in um how they go about things so you know karma will come i've, I've already told you know i've i've already forewarned people that you know once you cross my path you know uh, you're you're obviously a repeat offender and you know the divine the universe is sick and tired of your shit so um you know it's time for you to face your music <laughs> um you know so um it's just kind of like a wake up call um so anyway ah! trying to get to <laughs> trying to get to it uh, this crystal is kind of crazy. I wonder which crystal I threw in here just for the heck of it. Or did it come in here? I don't I don't even remember. Let's try not to hurt ourselves, okay? Angels of love and light, I call you in to direct and protect these messages and keep me safe while I um, get my tools ready. Ugh. We're gonna get to it. Ugh. I think it's lipidolite because it's kind of like, um, it's, oh, there we are. Yes, it's lipidolite. Yes. Um, this is, um, a chill type of, um, uh, um, stone. So it's a great crystal. If, um, you have, like, um, any sorts of depression or, um, even ADHD, um, it's, it's a good stone to, like, chill out with. In fact, um, when I was at some show, um, the owner's, um, son was talking to me about it when I picked it up. He's like, oh, you like that too? He's like, yeah, that's one of my favorite. And, um, so anyway, um, they are, um, very, like, I know that the owner is, like, very, very quiet and private, and, um, you know, she's, I don't want to say anything negative, um, but, um, she keeps to herself, and, um, but her son is, like, super, like, nice and outgoing and open, like, it's very strange, like, it's just very inverse, um, so, you know, um, you gotta give her some credit, uh, with, uh, you know, I, I would say that he has a very beautiful soul. Um, being like, it, it's just so like, how do I say it? Um, I don't know. Just, um, very like youthful, like very in touch with his inner child. Um, when like his appearance could um could easily categorize him into like um a group that is not so becoming okay so that was that was cool um give me a second oh, okay dear you're gonna get to this i promise <laughs> and in the meantime we're just getting things going here come on light a torch just need to light a torch Get get it going. Yes, get it lit. 
fine. If you don't want to do it, it's okay. We're going to do it this way. Okay. It's okay. We're going to do it a different way. Okay. Damned. What is going on? Okay. So I guess it's just time to talk, right? Um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot that needs to be done. Um, anyway, um, there you are. There's my wick. I've gone a little hiding. Okay. It's time. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to be chill because, you know, like when you boil it, boil it down to it, like when you are um, a leader and um, depending on how much control you have, you have to realize that you also have like very little control over some other aspects of life. And in the grand grandeur scheme of things, um, you know, there's always energies around. We've talked about this before, how there's always energies around you. There's angelic energies, there's cosmic energies, there's people like caught, um, you know, in limbo here, um, spirits that are just, um, uh, you know, haven't made it to the other side. Um, there's unfinished business, etc. So there's always going to be like energies around you. So, you might as well be within your higher self um, and really, you know, just be within your moment so as not to be so caught up as to what other people um, are, you know, what, how exposed you are. Because if you're living in your truth, there's, um, there's no you would not have any worry at all. Like there's no need to worry about certain things. Like, um, the doubt diminishes because it's like, you're already doing what you can and, um, you're doing what's right. So when you're totally honest with the world, um, you know, like why, why would you, um, how do I say it? I don't know. That I think you know where I'm going with it. I'm just trying to even out this candle for just a second. So give me a second. It's just like, you know, pick your battles, right? Um, people who are trespassing um, for ill reasons, um, they get their karma. I mean, especially when it comes to me, like I... <laughs> Seriously, how much, how much, how much reassurance do you need, Tina? <laughs> like, I, I already got my reassurance directly from Spirit, and I was just like, wowed. Super wowed. I don't even know what to say. Just wowed. So, um, and on the people that really, um, try to involve themselves in my life, like, to the extreme of being tapped into every single moment, um, you know, um, living fear-based, especially if it pertains to, like, new relationships, um, regardless of whatever degree, um, they're going to realize that it, it's, it's, it's not really based on trust if you have to monitor to that level. Um, if it has nothing to do with like protecting, um, you know what I mean? They know what I mean. <laughs> so, mm, okay. We're back. Okay. So this one is also combined with, I believe some fluorite. If what, if that's what I'm seeing in here. Um, if not, it has variations of, um, chevron amethyst, which is really great. Um, I think I remember for dreams, 
Um, so it's really great to keep by your bedside. Um, and I would say overall this candle was made by another witch. Um, uh, I think she rebranded herself. So if I know, if I knew what her rebranding efforts were, then I would, um, convey, but, um, I don't know where she's at. I think I need to touch base with her, but, um, you know, her stuff helped me out a lot. And, um, anyway, um, this overall I think is good to keep by your bedside when, um, upon closure of the day. So anyway, here we go. Oh, star deck. Time to settle down. It looks pitch black outside. I think it's the new moon coming. Okay, let this be a new moon read. Angels of light and love. I think I've called you in. But let's go ahead and like we're past the talking stage now. And we're doing the um, tarot now. Okay, so what is it we're going to focus on? New moon energies. Hmm? New moon energies. What is that? Ooh, it's the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. We have another crane here. Um, um I'm getting from this particular image, because this is the first time I've got I've received the Queen of Swords in this deck. Um, and some of you might be like multicultural, right? Um, but like ornate in your beliefs and, you know, um, just very proud of it, you know, in your background, um, with its formality. And it, it's also like saying that to, to, um, if you're not within that vibe and it's just internalized that they're, um, asking us to externalize it. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, like we're called to do that. Like, um, n n yeah, most definitely. Like I, I realize that, you know, some people are afraid, uh, or, you know, just they, they second guess what, to expose the world to, I mean, expose, how do I, say, expose a certain realm of them, of their, of themselves to the world, especially within its own immediacy within, um, a certain community, because they're worried about like what, how that might be received. And it, they're just like saying like, don't worry about how it's received. It already is. And to kind of bottle that in is, um, It causes internal disturbance. Do you know what I mean? Like, why Why would you have to hide a certain part of yourself that you're proud of just because of how others might receive that? So, um... I'm seeing it's um, very much an internal process um, to be like one with your truth, one with your sword. Um, that when you get a grip of things, like your mind as well, like how you think about things, do you see like getting the grip on that? Um, that it's um, you're embodying um, your truth. Like you're, you're not being so defensive, like you're holding it, you're holding your ground, you know, like a stake. Um, and, um, yeah, most definitely that's what I'm getting. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. 11. There's like 11 or 12, um, birds in the background. Um, let's see, two, four. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, about twelve, twelve in there. One is very faint, so I'm just. But it's it's visible. It's it's noticeable. So, a dozen birds. I don't really know what that means. But then the thirteenth one is landed right beside her, and um, thirteen in the major arcana is death. Um, so it's it's a transformation. It's a rebirth. It's uh 
I don't know why I keep getting rebranding, but it's um rebranding yourself to to closer to your authenticity. Most definitely. Um yeah. Because the 13th one is with her. Um there's red on the on the crown. So it's like um divine like crown chakra, but also a rooting because um red is um um closely associated or obviously associated with the root chakra so it's um not denying the foundations that you have like you know you know that that's that's obvious to your inner knowing so um i'm getting that yeah like the existence of it is like sharing that to the world because this is the right hand and this is the left hand so this is the recipient end like um and then this is the giving so this is um like kind of showcasing that you see the spotlight within the eye and um this is uh this energetic orb is um telling me telling us that we're protected in conveying it because it, it already exists there's divine existence within you um and within others so sharing that with the world is like it's it's super validating um n yes and the more that you do that it's like you're normalizing it and so normalizing its truth so it's as though you're speaking up for others as well as yourself it's it's um like domestic role modeling you know it's familiarizing um that and when you do that you're creating like this buddy system of accept of acceptance so um uh when that with that it's like a community of protection like a neighborhood watch almost um you see your eyes are closed so it's interesting in this divine power that we all hold because we, there's authenticity within everyone's roots um even those that have a very poor history of conveying that mm -hmm. like i'm talking ancestral okay. so um definitely this is what that's saying excellent i like it more <laughs> anything else okay knight of wands was in reverse and then it fell and then it's back upright so um you know when when we're not feeling our best like putting in our best um and it's like the the world teaches like shows us like deals us this card like as a reminder like oh you're you know you're acting kind of shitty you know? <laughs> you know just like you're not really within your best self and you know it you feel it you know like it's obvious but then you pick it up like it's dishing it to you and you you see it like at a at a glance and you drop it and then it turns right back up so it's like it's it's not easier said than done it's for this realm it's easier done than said like if you just change your mindset on it change your mindset on it then your spirit will follow along like it's just you just have to notice it like when you go to aa or you know any kind of like rehab type of place um like they only accept you through like self admit as uh, self admit admittance and so you have to first realize the addict has to first realize that there's a problem in the first place and um so the first mark the first step is accountability the acknowledgement of it so that's you know that first glance and then like all of a sudden you know pop it's there um uh they're saying that we're definitely more than capable of doing this so um that's excellent i love it i love it already so when you see this it's like this card after this card so do you see the vision how um we see how that connects together Excellent. I like it very much. Mm -hmm. 
So some of you also might be very good with animals. Um, you might not realize it, but they have a they have a liking to you <laughs> because um, you see the vision there, then the vision going through the eyes right there, and then like the spotlighting system, you know, a triad of um, divine energies um, helping light the way for you, illuminate things so that, um, yeah, most definitely. And then you have angelic, we have angelic um, backing, not just backing, but like in the front lines with us, you know right there mm -hmm. there's something about listening to within like our spirit totem um do you see how like the ear is right there um and it's the right ear so um it's asking us to like whatever spirit totem you vibe with or that's being presented your way um it's um you're meant to like kind of embody those characteristics i mean you already know that right um but it's also like really t fine tuning like your listening skills within those characteristics so um even let's say like i don't know a loud spirit totem what would be a lot like a what what would be a loud spirit totem a monkey um there's still um we still need to be able to like listen um within the context of um that spirit totem so um monkeys are very like um well they're, they're the closest to humans right um and they are very community based so when we're highlighting the ear let's say um we have to like tap into like what we're hearing in in the realm of community as well as like within our own um like inner dialogue so i think this might be a bear i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure um let's let's go ahead and see the knight of wands okay knight of wands okay it's a white bear Okay, so I feel like the last sentence is like the most um, prominent one, most applicable. Um, we must check ourselves to make sure that this passionate pursuit is one born of love and make sure that we are aware of the effects we will have on others. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's 100%. Yeah, because like the sword energy is just right there. Um, I really feel like that. I really, 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 really feel like that. Okay. I'm glad we read that. Okay. So you might want to um, look at the, um, the, the spirit totem of the white bear. Okay. I don't know if white bears are only considered like polar bears or if there's other variations elsewhere. But I mean, this looks very unique. Um, you see, um, the, it has like, um, metal armor that mimics a rhinoceros. So, uh, I would also look at the rhino spirit totem because that spirit, to that spirit animal is try, um, attempting to embody another. It's very cool. So a rhino is meant to like charge forward, um, very stocky and steady, like within the root chakra, um, almost like a bull, but, um, more like primitive and it's like drive forward. Um, yeah. Okay. So this hit the queen of swords oh my gosh i was totally looking when i saw when I, we last referenced this i was gonna say it's like the four of swords like contemplation and here it is hello four of um swords in reverse 
Like, I just didn't want to show up. That's so crazy. I should speak more. So, you know. So, this is getting up out of bed. This is recovered. This is um, having some time to sleep on things. And, um, you know, getting ready to just wake up. Um, like, relieved, finally. Um, definitely. See? Like, it's picking up that sword. We talked about it. It's coming from, um, it's a breakthrough after, like, a breakup. After, um, you know, um, heartbreak. That's what it is. It's a breakthrough after, um, a breakup. I love it. This is excellent. Okay. What else have we got? Anything else, angels? Um, it's the Seven of Cups muted, and it hit the book. Um, okay. So, it's muted. Um, it's important to get our sleep, okay? This is vital for us. We might have, like, been asleep for a while. Um, however, like, whatever context you take that as is applicable to... Because this is, like, you're, you're using your inner knowing when it comes to um, translating. Like, I'm, I'm not like a hundred percent your translator i'm I'm just a channel as far as like presenting information to you so that you can interpret according to your situation um so it's like for me like oh my gosh this weekend um yesterday okay i went to go to the beach um but it was like at the very like last slither of the day and um so i got to see like the weather change the the, the light change the the crowds change and i didn't really anticipate that i was just trying to get out the door like after trying to take care of some things here but not like be aggro about it um you just kind of not moseying along, just kind of going with the flow. And it did feel like moseying along, so it was a little hard on myself, but I was just like, psh, just go, psh, you know? And, um, and so, um, it was really nice. I loved it because, um, partially, uh, I feel a little like self conscious whether I feel like my body is good or not good. Um, just, being seen like that it's just self it makes me a little self-conscious so um it was nice to be able to catch just like a sliver of light across the horizon too and um so that was just nice but then today um just was i was i between yesterday and today especially i took a lot of naps and I can't say it's from depression, but I was wondering whether it was just an inundation of energies around me. But um, spirit, this is when spirit reassured me, like, no, this is this is just needed. This is part of the process. A lot of information is coming through, and um, you're a core recipient of it, as well as a translator, a channel. So just just go with the flow. Like, don't feel bad about how that impacted your, um, you know, your agenda, like the agenda is still there and, um, it's a process. So just understand that this had a very crucial place. Maybe it was just like, it was a surprise. Like it was not really accounted for. Um, but that's what they're saying. Like when, when you have to be flexible, or adaptable you also have to be flexible within those routines to allow for that cushion time like um like for my boss um i see the calendar and i'm like oh my gosh i don't even know how you're doing it because the last job that i was at um i felt it was unfair um like how do i say it not unfair um it was 
It was not right to expect so much out of a person to digest and like assimilate and like to um, delegate, to digest, to um, execute um, certain initiatives or even like plan, like just, it, it's a lot to go back to back to back to back. And it's, there, there has to be some give to it. Um, and, uh, so like, I understand that there's periods where it's like super busy, but when we see back to back weeks like that, it's, um, like, even if you have to work 12 hour days, there has to be a sliver of allowance between those, um, meetings. And so what am I saying out of this? Oh my gosh angels please help remind me um because it's applicable towards this that yeah like um there has to be built-in rest periods and not just like having to allot that duplicate that during lunch um or even a you know your meal period so what am i saying towards this um this dreams okay so um the fact that we need to like get our sleep to digest the options um it's it's like recuperating so recuperating so that like recovery so that we can um understand what um the most viable options are um to our current situation and perspective to the incoming year. Um, it's looking at the possibilities. Like we're not just looking at the options. This is so essential so that we can really look at like with like the best foot in the door, um, what the possibilities are because options are just kind of like fed to us or brainstorming. It's, um, ideation um but when we're sitting with that and sleeping through like sleeping um like taking a night to like sleep it over um that we are also processing within our own inner knowing at, like within the realm of leadership to uh really look at m the breadth of possibilities and to expand on maybe the most viable options that we're presented to us because again it is a team effort but um it's looking at that but being able to really internalize that um build that into the process um because without that it's just like we're spinning our gears and it's like okay okay what what else do i need to remember well it's it's a game of like recalling things recalling things and um yeah, that's that's what I'm getting here. Why did we all of a sudden take a turn for business? Give me a second. Maybe I have other leaders here that um really need to hear that. Um yeah, because Okay, so this is a more expansive message. I think this was the segue to it. Um, you know, turning our spirits right back sorry, 20% battery, but turning our spirits right back up the, like the initial, like, um, recognition of it. And just like our capability of like being so resilient to jump right back up. And that's only because of this. So, um, I work in a company that, um, celebrates di diversity. And so this is the in initial card that really speaks of it. And the only way to really enable that is to make to to set it up as though um like it's it's really um um it's not just recognized as a, a value as an asset but um encouraging that um ensuring that it's a safe place to um bring that forward it's like part of the core values um, is like recognizing that people are fully capable so long as they have that built in time, um, to like process. This is so crazy. I don't even know why. Okay. So this is, well, I am honored to have you here. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's, that's good. That's really good. 
Because it doesn't matter what industry you're in, this holds true, you know? So your core values are correct. The way to go about them, there is a formula to it that is just inherent when it comes to natural laws, when it comes to the divine. This is how it's digested. Um, this is not just a way, it's the way. It's the most efficient way. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, eight of cups. Yeah, so it's taking some time to really um, step out and think about it. Um, this is a um, shape-shifting, what, eagle? I think it's an eagle or a hawk. Um, half man, half um, bird. So um, we also get Egyptian reference to that because the upper half is, um, is a bird. And um, it's in its most ascended form. So it's being able to transcend what is provided. Like, you know, it, all of these options are, you know, are here, okay? Um, to work based on fear mentality, it, you're already asserting um, a piece that isn't for the highest good. You see what I'm saying? Like, that energy, like, thrown into the mix is added confusion. So... The ability to transcend, um, what is it, mind over matter, right? Um, like if if things certain if certain things diminish, you know, while we're um, really taking, like we're not, you know, how do I say it? Um, like. Certain things will root themselves out. Um, we talked about a process of elimination. Um, and certain things will just kind of like, they weren't meant for the moment. Our readiness and our energy were, were, were not a match. But also leadership. Like, leadership will also root itself out too. You know what I mean? Like, the truth is always revealing. Okay, so eventually that's what it boils down to. That's what I'm getting. So there's four cups here that are that have like a red type of um, um, like smoke coming from it. So that's half of them, right? Um, so you know, part of it is like don't worry about like this is a call out to the four too don't worry about the things that fall away the options that fall away um because then you're like however viable they are because when it comes down to it um the things that are not meant like will root themselves out we have the root chakra here also indicated and how like it's I don't know. It's like it's or it organically um, sh shows like what is um, the correct answer. I don't. I don't know how to say that. But like when you look at that, when you look at the option, when you look at the possibilities, um, seven is a very divine number, of course, right? But if they're rooting itself themselves out, um, and there's four remaining, that's the majority of what's left here. So, um, you have to take your cup into consideration, okay? That's what it's mainly saying. Um, yeah, 100%. That's what it's saying. Mm hmm So, um, that's interesting. Okay. 
And, and the other thing though, is that we already talked about this being a team effort, right? And I'm looking at the spirit totems, like, cause there's so many in all of this, that, um, our surroundings are like built with raccoons. And I was thinking, I was in my head just like a few seconds ago, like, it's so weird. It's like time is at a standstill. But my mind is moving like really, really, really quickly because it's only a few seconds that have passed. And so anyway, I was thinking about um, the um, raccoons and um, how we talked about resourcefulness in the recent past, um, how that last appeared with the seven of swords energy. And if we were to um, like internalize, like... Uh, take that energy in to embody it in its most positive aspect it would be um that we're being resourceful and looking in places um where most aren't so i was thinking that maybe that might be the competition that we might see um but i i really feel like the you know the you're to stand um alone leader right so there's a certain likeness between us two um that one is trying to embody the other and the other is trying to embody the other and this is like really 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 great um team play um and um it's like bridging the gap of understanding and how you see things like you're you're both striving to um build bridges to to connect and so what are we saying about that oh so you know your, our team okay um we are going to value their abilities in being able to um, look where others aren't looking, um, to be resourceful, to be practical. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting there. That's interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. So, um, yeah, but we're we're setting the tone for that because we're, we're you know kind of looking um like that that's excellent and um that way within their skill set within their own expertise um they're given the autonomy to make like certain executive decisions that um they believe would work best um for the whole um the collective team yeah i feel like that i feel like that okay Anything else, angels? Okay, these two. Three of pentacles in reverse and eight of wands. So it's, um, uh, we keep getting this in reverse and this is all about deconstructing. It's, um, taking things apart um, like almost like when you kind of learn a computer system or a lawnmower or whatever, you take it apart in order to like understand how it's meant to like work together, how, how to put something together, how to assemble that. So eight of wands is also about communication. It's some um, like fast forward movement. It's, um, what am I getting out of this though? It's putting your heart into, um, the objectives right? Um, like you want someone on your team that is obviously passionate about what they do. And, um, yeah, that it comes from the heart, um, regardless of how many numbers are on their paycheck. Um, because that's, this is, this is talent, um, and drive. So, um, I, I really feel like that because this is like a, a hawk or a falcon. So it's really being precise and focused in what comes from the heart, what grows, um, like it's like an inner fueling of, of growth. Um, I, I feel like that. People who are fearless in what they're doing to be able to like deconstruct in order to figure things out. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel like that. Okay, the bottom of the deck, because I feel like that's a lot already, is the two of swords. So people who can do this blindfolded, that know their stuff, um, 
that are able to say no to um, the stuff that just doesn't make sense and still be able to speak to it. Like the mouth isn't covered, just the eyes. Um, I feel like that because it's it's standing over this um, river, which is super abundant. There's so much. There's so much within this ecosystem here. Um, this is sustainability um, and being able to. Yeah, this is what we're saying to say no to certain things because it's just taking on all the nice to haves. You know, um, it's. Yeah, I really, really feel like that. Um, this is the waxing moon. Mm -hmm. Waxing crescent moon. And, um, yeah, because it's, yeah. And, uh, so it's about transitions and being practical with, with those efforts because, um, Yeah, I really feel like that. Okay. Um, Bananagram time. 7.51 on the clock. What have we got here? This is excellent because nobody has chimed in yet. And it's just me and, you know, whoever future person is here. So this is, this is like a little workshop. <laughs> okay, we have K and E. And it fell on the three of pentacles and the eight of uh, cups. Three of pentacles in reverse mm, for the K and then the eight of cups E. I L V W E I I M S E Z S U I D D O A. That's what we've got. So we have a side. We have um, assume. That's the first time I've got that. I have bile. Said. Wives. Okay. All right. Now, time to put them together. What did we say? Sed did I say seduce? No. Did I? I already forgot. Mm. Well, there's no C, so if I said that before, then it's incorrect, because I don't... Assume. Gosh, what the frick? <sighs> you know, um, being that it, we almost got seduced here, it's almost like we... You know, when we take on so much, when there's so much on the task list, it's almost like the want to have, right? And like making sure that everything has like a pretty red bow on it. And so we're enticed to take on so much when um, our our resources are, you know, are... They, um, we're looking to, how do I say this, angels? To maximize on our return, we need to maximize our resources. So we need to make them more capable and enabled, um, uh, set them up for success. That's what it is. Um, so without the C in there, we don't, we don't really have everything that we need when it comes to engaging with what like seduces us with what entices us, um, that it still can be achieved by, um, being practical about, you know, the main things that need to get done that eventually, um, okay, let's just go ahead and see here. Assume. Okay. Let's go with this first. Okay. 
like I don't know everything that's going on in the business I I'm just reading the energy here and with my um, local observations um, you know experiences are meant to like sh reveal something to us and um, we, we might as well catch on to as much as we can um, within our waking hour because we want the most restful sleep because um, from my understandings um, what doesn't um, reach us in our wakes, waking state um, will um, further elaborate itself um, within our dream state. So I have wise. Um, I have milk. Hmm. Hmm. What else here? I have divide. What? So strange to have these like within the remaining. So it tells me that this is correct. Um... Okay, I have three letters left that need to find a home. Mm I have does. This is definite. Okay. Because we, we're talking about sleep here and how important it is um, within the process. Um, okay. Yeah, because milk is a main staple. I know that some people may be lactose intolerant, but it's the implication of milk. And when you're trying to milk something like, um, get something for what it's worth um whether it's before or after commitment or um it's being able to see your resources and wanting to maximize um the return on it okay so um all of those things that i said are all applicable to what you know how you receive them in whatever walk of life that you're you know engaged with at the moment or due to engage with so um uh let's see here so we have divide here and it's linked to doze and assume and um i feel like when because earlier today when oh no, no when we were on the last um reading when we looked at that tower moment how there was um three eyes on there and it was in di three different parts i'm like i was thinking about that today and i realized oh you know that might be the law of thirds how um when we're dividing our day up to, you know to what makes sense as far as our investments i really feel like divide is also coming to appear here in um um uh, doing like when we're thinking about the formula like at basic level um we have to build in all of the essentials right so um i don't know like how people work in business with the law of thirds but we certainly need to be able to divide um with um sleep as an essential part of it most definitely because if we're to maximize and to milk something for what um it's worth um that um how do how do i say this because i really feel like because I, I i'm hearing like in the back also like why would you buy a cow if you get the milk for free that kind of thing so there's a certain degree of callousness but also like reality that hits you um when it comes to this so like i'm trying to like 
get a comprehensive like message out of this um I really feel like it's not taking advantage of our resources because when you treat them as such, regardless of however they like display themselves, um, that, um, that you're also contributing to a culture that, um, takes advantage of their resources, um, in its most disrespectful manner. Um, because they can. And um, when you validate such, when you imply that, when you integrate that kind of behavior, even if such, there are willing recipients of that, that you are validating their, um, like, lesserness, if that makes sense. Their, um, I know that there's a word for it. I know, I know. But, um, they're um like the level of like subordinates like you know you're um it's like minimizing them like you're validating their um quality to be of less and you want to be able to build up not you know so that you're you're working with like a realm of leaders like future leaders so you want to build their confidence up and mentor them um so that when they're in the position um of such leadership that they're taking that on that they now know better they've been taught better and so they're able to also lead from like the ground up that they can um teach up as well so we all have something to contribute here so it's um it's this is the new moon, new moon energies um and uh this is a timeless energy reading so um let me just go ahead and show you what it's all about see it's all right there okay so this is really nice because we have that candle um and those stones to um really convey that element of like chill time you know like being able to um calm our anxieties and our fears and um i i think that's it um thanks very much angels of love and light spirit um spirit totems uh just like the divine within the universe that played a role within this um within this reading i thought i think this is really excellent i didn't i didn't know it i didn't know what was going to come out of it but it's a, a lot did you know this is this is really good hmm. okay that's it for now i think it's been an hour so work your magic and um have a good night i'll see you all again later bye for now how do i end this i don't